Question 6. What have you learned about technologies from the process of constructing this product? I have used several different technologies during the production of my magazine. These include Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, and Web.2 applications such as Bubbleus and SurveyMonkey. I've also used Cam Studio, a digital SLR camera, and Windows Movie Maker. I used the digital SLR camera and the TRC Studio equipment and background to take my images for my front cover, contents, and double page spread. I had previous experience in using an SLR camera, but this allowed me to work in a professional environment using Interfit Carlite 150 lights and a white backdrop. This gave me clear, professional looking images that I feel are suitable for my magazine. To edit my photos and develop my front cover, I used Adobe Photoshop. Editing my photos dramatically changed the appearance of them so that they would be more fitting of the indie genre. I used the burn tool to darken my model's hair, eyebrows and lips, and used a brush tool to create her eye makeup. I also lightened the background up so that it would be more dramatic white to look more professional and contrasting and therefore more exciting to my audience. I edited all four of my images with this technique and particularly liked the double page spread image in black and white. I am particularly proud of this because I like the impact of the black and white and the clothes of my model. Another image I dramatically changed to suit my indie genre is this photograph used on my contents page of my second model. I used many different tools to create this change, such as blur, as used here, erase, stamp, burn, as used on my first model, dodge, to highlight, as used on my first model and a black and white filter. The blur tool was used to remove glasses on my model as this was not stereotypical of my genre before I did this and did not suit my magazine. I also added eye makeup similar to the photos of my first model as shown here. So editing this on Photoshop allowed me to follow conventions more accurately to create a realistic magazine. To create my cover lines, I added text over my image. I created my masthead on Photoshop using the shape tool and adding text on top. I also added a drop shadow to my banner at the top of my magazine front cover by going on layer effects and adding a small drop shadow. I used InDesign to compose my contents page and my double page spread article using columns, shapes, text and images. On my double page spread I made a large V which I ordered behind my text and turned the opacity down so that the text was readable following conventions of Q. I used Web.2 O'Reilly 2005 applications such as WordPress to create my blog to upload my coursework and show my development and my journey throughout the year. I used other applications and websites such as Bubbleus and SurveyMonkey. Bubbleus allows you to create a bubble diagram of ideas and key thoughts. I use this to present ideas about my magazine pre-production. I also used SurveyMonkey before creating my magazine as this allowed me to receive peer feedback on how I should design my magazine and whether my ideas at the time were suitable for my target audience. I received this feedback after my media pitch presentation using another Web.2 application, Prezi. Prezi allowed me to create a visually exciting presentation for my pitch that appears much more advanced and professional than the traditional use of Microsoft PowerPoint, for example. These Web.2 applications have given me more access and more ideas that have essentially helped me to create a more effective and suitable magazine using brainstorms and feedback. Without these, I would not have created the standard of magazine that I have produced. Therefore, Web 2.0 has been vital to the creation of my magazine.